Hi guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. Wanting to talk to you today about testosterone replacement therapy, also known as TRT. Now, it's gained a lot of popularity as of late. However, there's some things to know about TRT. Okay, first and foremost, what is testosterone? Male hormone found in men and women. Now, specifically, I'm gonna talk to you about the males, okay? Now, as we age, you know, depending on certain medications, lifestyle, disease processes, testosterone can fall. And when it falls, you don't necessarily feel well. You don't have to feel that way because we can supplement testosterone from a compounding pharmacy. We can deliver this medication to you into your body where you can benefit from normal, strong levels of testosterone. So what are some of the symptoms of low testosterone in a male? So some of them, which you may notice is low energy levels, low libido levels, increased body weight, fat, soreness, just lack of motivation. Those are some of the symptoms that one may recognize. So what happens when we start using testosterone treatment? Well, testosterone is gonna increase your energy levels. It's gonna help you build more lean muscle mass. It's gonna help your libido, your sexual health. So by using these treatments with a medical clinic that's guiding you along the way, not only can you improve your overall life and well-being, but we're gonna be testing your labs every few months to make sure you're staying within a healthy range. But in addition to that, we're gonna make sure you have testicular support because while using testosterone, you could potentially suppress your normal production. It's already low. So what you wanna do is make sure a medical professional can help stimulate that testicular function so there's no fallback with that. In addition to that, balancing your estrogen levels, that's a common side effect of hormone replacement therapy. That needs to be addressed. We'll do that here for you at Titan Medical Center. So with that being said, balancing your testosterone level, balancing your estrogen levels, and making sure you have testicular support is what we call TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. So if you're interested in learning more about this type of treatment, give us a call 727-389-3220 or reach out to us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. We'd love to help you. We can help you be the best you you wanna be. Hi, my name is David O. Hensley, and I've been a patient and a loyal customer of Titan Medical Center now for over eight years. And I could not be more happier to be here today to share you my experience with Titan Medical Center and give you my testimonial. Well, before Titan, I noticed myself being a little tired, more tired than normal. I was lagging in the gym, lagging in the bedroom. I was not feeling up to par nor my, because I'm a very hyper person to begin with. So for me not to have the levels of energy I was used to was becoming concerning to me. So that's when I made a decision to come to Titan Medical Center. And once I made that decision and I got my blood work done, they actually showed me what my body was not producing anymore. And after 40 years old, you know, our body stopped producing natural testosterone, natural energy, libido, everything that we need to survive and have a function full healthy lifestyle so once I decided to make the call to Titan got my labs done it was then they customized the therapy program just for me and I cannot be more happier than I have ever been 
As soon as I walk in that bedroom, I want to feel like the man I am. As soon as I get up and start my day, I want to feel like I can conquer and challenge the day. And that's what Titan Medical Center provided for me, the energy and the strength to do so. So the Titan therapies I use are, first off, the Titan Complete, which is my must-have daily injectable. It gets me the energy levels that I need. It, feels, it makes me feel like my immune system is even stronger than I've ever before. I use the Hercules Potion. Now, with the Hercules Potion, I like to do about 20 minutes before my workouts. I do side injections. So, like, if I'm doing chest and tries, I do 50 I use, 50 in each one. Go to the gym, and the amount of pump I get is insane. I can actually do Hercules Potion and just go for a jog, and I feel like I went to the gym for an hour and trained. The muscle density, the vascularity, the hardness is insane and I love it, without a doubt. It's one of my therapies I can't do without. Now they also have me on testosterone replacement therapy, which is great, and HCG, and the anti-estrogen blocking pills, which is a must have because you know, Wasted testosterone is going to convert it to estrogen, and we don't need to be crying at a commercial. We don't need to be upset. We don't need to be. So having the right amount of hormones balanced in your body, done professionally, you know, custom, that is so important to maintaining this healthy lifestyle. My medical titan provider and service was excellent. In fact, it was the simplest thing is making a phone call. Once I made the phone call, once I came to the office, they, they, they reassured me how easy it would be. Once I got my labs done, then it was smooth sailing from there. They go over the top to make sure that you are getting what you need for your body. You know, the nurse practitioner, the doctors here, the whole crew, the staff, they make it comfortable, they make it simple, they make it easy, educational, and informative. And that's so, it's vital. I mean, you, a lot of these companies out there, when you go see them, they'll tell you what you need or what's this and that. They'll try to sell you on so many things and your body doesn't need that. Titan is, they're loyal to making sure their customers are taken care of and their body is, gets what, exactly what it needs. Am I happy as a Titan patient? Oh, I, I'm over the moon happy, ecstatic. It's, happiness is like a word right about here. A Titan is up here. And that's how I feel every day. It's like when, when I get asked, am I happy with Titan Medical? Over the moon. I could not be more happier. Thank you again, Time Medical, for all you've done for me, the people I've sent you, my friends, my clients. I cannot be more happier. Thanks again. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and today I want to talk to you about things that could be possibly ruining your testosterone. That's right, day in and day out, you might be damaging those levels or lowering your testosterone levels and not even know it. So let's talk about some of the most common things that you could be doing to be damaging your testosterone levels. One, things we eat. Everything you're intaking in your body, we are what we eat. Remember that saying? That saying is so true. And you could be eating things day in and day out that could be lowering your testosterone levels or not be putting them in a good place. That's one. The second one, Talk about sleep. Sleep is so vital for day in and day out activity, the way you feel, your mood, and yes, it can affect your testosterone levels if you're not getting enough sleep. So make sure you're trying to prioritize seven day eight hours of sleep to make sure your testosterone levels and you're functioning properly day in and day out. Three, medications you may be taking. This could be narcotics or painkillers. This could be depression medication. This can also be hair loss medication too as well. All of these things can be damaging or lowering your testosterone levels. So make sure that you're looking at the, the side effects from these medications to know what you're really in for. Because some of these medications could possibly go away. Even depression medications. Now, there are people out there that legitimately need depression medications. But some of those people may be put on depression medications because they had low testosterone levels and that could possibly cause depression. And a medical provider didn't blood test, but it just went by the symptoms of what the patient said and automatically put them on this medication. And this is damaging them day in and day out. Next one, activity. If you're inactive all the time and sitting on the couch all the time, your body is being useless. Our bodies were not meant for that. Our bodies were meant to be active. They were meant to go out, hunt, right? See, feel, touch, experiment, everything that's going on in the world. They're not there just to sit and be inactive. And by sitting and being active, think about a car or anything else that is inactive. After sitting there for so long, it's not going to run as good. You want to constantly be running your body and being active so that your body is performing and it's working like it should, okay? The next thing after that, when we talk about this, we talk about how testosterone levels can be lowered by head trauma okay that's another one day in and day out 
So if you're getting a lot of hits to the head, okay, you might be experiencing low testosterone levels because of it. TBIs, traumatic brain injury, this happens to so many soldiers out there or other people out there. And usually what happens is, is a pituitary gets wrecked or something happens and their body starts not producing testosterone or like it should. This will also cause lower levels of testosterone in the body. Okay, next one, our environment and what we're putting on our bodies. So every day you're, you're going out into chemical warfare, whether you know it or not. You're like, John, what are you talking about? I go outside and I breathe fine. Yeah, you're breathing fine. But think about everything that's in there, all the toxins in our environment, everything you're breathing in. Microplastics are actually in our bloodstream. They've confirmed this, okay? This is affecting our body in so many different ways and we really don't even know. We are truly an experiment walking around with all the other things that are around us and what we're intaking. After that, of what we're putting on our body. There are different chemicals you're putting on your body every single day, and I do too, so I'm right there with you guys. So deodorants, lotions, sunscreen. You're saying sunscreen, but I have to wear sunscreen. I live in, I live in Florida. I need it all burn. There are some sunscreens out there that have carcinogenics in them. Now they're starting to take them out of the stores because they're starting to find this out, but still a lot of people have used these things for so long, or even deodorants. That's right, I put on deodorant too because I don't want to stink, but I'm telling you guys, there's different chemicals in there that could be endocrine disrupting chemicals, EDCs, and this could be affecting your hormone levels and particularly your testosterone levels. So these are just some of the common things you're, you're dealing with day in and day out that could be ruining or lowering your testosterone levels. And who wants that, right? Nobody does. I like to keep my natural testosterone levels for as long as I possibly can. Now my natural testosterone levels, uh, you know, bottomed out probably about 31, 32 years old where they were not optimal and they were really at the lower end. So I've been on testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy for that long, I'm now 41 years old. But I can tell you this, I feel better than ever. I definitely look at what I eat, how much rest I'm, you know, I'm doing. I try not to take in any medications that are gonna be uh, disrupting my hormones or lowering those levels too as well. But I'm also substituting and implementing testosterone in my body. So I don't really have to worry about it getting low because I have it coming in my body. But people out there that are not on hormone replacement therapy or don't wanna start just yet, you really need to look at these other factors, right? Get those in check and maybe your levels can stay naturally higher for a longer period of time, okay? So it's up to you guys. I'm gonna put the homework and the ball in your court. Do what you guys gotta do. Find out and research what you're intaking, how you're doing it, and the surrounding things around you, and do what's best for your health and your testosterone levels. I hope this helped. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna be covering a lot more information I think you guys are gonna love that will benefit your health day in and day out. Thank you guys. And call or text if you wanna become a patient, 727-389-3220, and check out all the therapies that we offer at tightmedicalcenter.com. Appreciate you guys, and see you on the next video. What's up, guys? This is Big Drew. Just wrapped up stuff from the live. I'm actually going to talk to you guys today about healthy eating habits. You guys know me. I used to always eat McDonald's. I used to brag about being able to eat McDonald's and still have a shredded physique until I got my blood work done, until I realized that all that garbage food I was putting into my body, even though I wasn't seeing a reflection on the outside, it was tearing me up on the inside. So um, what actually got me to start eating healthy it was my birthday about two and a half years ago i was at the beach had my shirt off you know me i'm always thinking i'm all ripped up and you know i'm always i stay leaning around people that know me someone was recording me from the back and as i was walking away i saw a little little love handles in the back shaking as i was moving now to me and to me i seemed fat i seemed out of shape to the other person to the average person they might say you know he's a ripped up guy but that was to me a deciding factor. All those years eating those garbage McDonald's and fast food, even though I was shredded, even though I was veiny and had abs and everything, it was going back there. So I didn't ever saw it because I looked in the mirror, but I saw it back there. From that point on, I decided to eat healthy pretty much all the time, not just if I'm competing for a bodybuilding show. I'm not competing anymore. I'm not competing this year. But I still live the bodybuilding lifestyle. I eat clean. I eat six to seven meals a day. I try to do at least a gallon, sometimes two gallons of water a day. It's worked out great for me. 
I've lost about 15, 20 pounds. Originally when I was with Titan, I was 305. Now I'm 280, 285, I feel great. My waistline's tighter, my blood pressure's a lot better. All my levels on my blood work are showing up excellent, so I feel a lot better, guys. So to you guys out there, even though you can eat candy and fast food and stay ripped, it is damaging your body on the inside. It's only a matter of time before it takes its toll, whether it's on your liver, your kidney, belly fat, body fat, or even your organs, your skin, everything is affected by healthy eating, guys. So clean up your diet, clean up your life. If you need help, we can take care of it here at Titan Medical. Call 727-389-3220. We can actually do a food allergy test, which is going to determine which foods work best for your body. So that's pretty much what got me started eating healthy. It took that one video and that one picture of me seeing my lower back. I didn't like the way it looked. So from then, from that point on, I decided to eat healthy. Now I eat healthy pretty much all the time. Yesterday was a holiday, so I kind of indulged a little bit. But again, I do about 85 to 90% healthy now, and I have my 10% enjoy myself and have you know pretty much whatever I want. So about two to three cheat meals a week. Everything else is clean, healthy. I do no sugar, I do no dairy, and I try to keep my sodium next to nothing. I mean, obviously you need a little bit of sodium, you don't want to cramp and stuff, but um, keep my sodium low, my sugar low, and again, my lactose is pretty much at nothing right now. I feel great. This is Big Drew. I hope you guys can change up your diet and get healthy and feel great and look great. We can help you here at Titan. Give us a call. We'll help you out. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife right here are coming at you guys every week with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry, because this advice or these tips and tricks will hopefully set you up for a successful new relationship with a partner that hopefully you'll know what the good things are, bad things are, and where to go from here. Be able to point it out a little faster. That's right, that's <laughs> right. We're gonna give you guys the inside scoop of maybe what to look for, you know, how you can deflect some things, or how you can, you know, go on to having a very successful relationship. So, every week we pick a new topic, and whether it's a tip or trick to help you guys in the bedroom, or to communicate better, or things to watch out for, or things that you should probably do. Um, and in this week, it's not anything has changed. So at this point, uh, we're going to talk about quality time and spending quality time with your loved one, your partner, whatever it is. At that point, we were talking with some friends this weekend. And that's where we get a, little, a lot of insight because me and Cherie's like, we know our relationship. We know kind of what works. Um, a lot of people ask us how our relationship works the way it does because of how, you know, crazy, I guess, our life is. And, um, you know, it's unorthodox in some of the different things that we've done throughout the times that, you know, normal people wouldn't do maybe. That we still do. That we still do, yeah. you know, and people are like, wow, that really works or how does that work? And it just may not work for them, right? So everybody's different relationships, different, um, your boundaries, everything you set, these are the things that are hopefully going to set the relationship up for success. But one thing you cannot forget, obviously communication is one of the main gotta things. Gotta have communication. You know, we always mention that one because it's that important. Gotta, we gotta have, mention it at least once in every single episode yeah. so you guys don't forget. It, yeah. We're just drilling it in your yeah. brain. Yeah. Communicate, yeah. communicate, communicate. Constant, constant Stop communication. Stop being silent, communicate, communicate, yes. communicate. Yes, <laughs> you know, so, you know, with this one, the first thing you guys need to communicate is you need to spend time together right now it gets real hard it gets a little bit more tricky as the relationship goes on first off when you first meet you know you probably have jobs and you guys are working different schedules or maybe you're working the same schedules and you guys are going out and you guys are having a great time and if everything's going well right the, the relationship's going to advance and you guys are going to progressively go more and more so that means you know getting engaged possibly getting married having kids um, whatever it is even if you don't have kids or you're not married or engaged it's still important to have that quality time. It just gets a little bit more trickier when you do have kids. But yeah, you gotta like remember what, like what is the definition 
of quality time, right? Because yeah. everybody's definition of quality time is different. Yeah. And that's fine. You can have a different definition for everybody yeah. in quality time. But let me label some things that are not quality time. Mm. Having children around is not quality time. It might be family time. That's not couple quality time. Right. Okay. Right. Going to dinner with friends. That's not quality time. That's hanging out with your friends and not going to dinner by yourself with your significant other, trying to figure out what you guys are going to talk about alone. Because you got to have alone time, meaning True. alone. True. So it's just, I want to point these things out. Going into a nightclub with your friends. That's also the same exact type of thing. You know, or B, maybe you think quality time is um, you guys both sitting in a bed and one's watching TV and one's reading a book. That is also not quality time. I want to make sure I, I, I at least pick the couple things that I'm talking about. It's time spent together. I mean, you're not talking. You're not conversating. You're not updating each other yeah. on feelings and or what's going on at work or yeah. what's going on here, what's going on there. It might be, I mean, me and John are busy, so I mean, we get to spend minimal quality time together even though we're together all day, every day. Yeah. That doesn't mean we get to talk and have quality time, you know? So it's, I think it's important that you guys understand what quality time is and the definition of what quality time is and meaning truly by yourselves and really interacting with yeah. each other. Yeah. I think that's what it really comes down to. Down on your cell phone when you guys are at dinner together, <laughs> invite you and two. You're, Don't you're do on that. your phone the whole time. That, that really pisses me off. It's not good. And it's, you know, That'll piss me off. For some people to say, listen, I work a lot on my phone, or I do this. Yeah, I totally <laughs> understand that. She totally understands it's an that. Hour. But like, you know, it, that one hour of quality time is gonna be everlasting to your partner. They're gonna really appreciate it. And if they don't, they might need another partner. But at that point, somebody is going to appreciate you, you know, interacting with them, listening to them, because it's not just talking to somebody. It's really listening and let them tell you, hey, what's going on? Or they might have stuff that they want to share with you. And it's just important to listen and obviously reciprocate and talk back too as well. Not just sitting there like, mm, and You know, it's like you know? little things too, because I'm like trying to remember, because we just recently went on my birthday vacation. And my birthday vacation is always ever so important because it's, I need that like one week away from human society and everyone to just like really think about what's going on, spend time with John. And I'm not alone with John, but I make time alone with John. But there are little things that I like recall over the vacation that I don't see other couples do that me and John still do right now going on what 15 years or something mm -hmm. like that you know we still hold hands that's important right I feel like people just don't do that anymore I don't it's really weird you know people you don't see people like sometimes I'll just go up to him and like we'll be walking go like that or you know we literally hold hands right when we're walking through the mall or whatever it is i feel like people are so much more distant nowadays six foot baby no I'm just joking. this is not COVID. <laughs> either that or they're preoccupied on their phone so they're not holding hands because yeah. they got their phone like this while they're walking through the mall it's true. so you're not if you, if you at least can point these things out you know you'll you'll maybe do it right so hold hands kiss make sure you kiss at least once a day that's super important say I love you and another thing is is if you guys go out somewhere like um, I don't know maybe dinner or let's use dinner so if you go to dinner why don't you try sitting next to your significant other instead of like maybe the group of friends so that you can not only have a talk with your friends but you can still have a talk with your significant other not like they don't exist with a menu in front of their face right <laughs> so there's that and then the other example I can give you is that you know me and John we still have this spark when we go to a nightclub, right? And yeah, we're getting old. That's fine. We're going to be those old people in the club in the VIP section still dancing, oh. right? It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm going to be like, hey, oh, I don't belong here, but hey, this is so much fun. <laughs> um, but regardless, me and him, you know, we still like, you know, we still interact with each other at the, at the club or, or dancing. That's our thing, though, right? We like to dance. We like music. Find your thing and then do your thing with each other. Mm -hmm. Like it really boils down to that. And this is just a couple of little highlights throughout the vacation that I can like point out to you. But I'm like, wow, I'm not seeing like the other couples aren't dancing with each other. Well, you know, like maybe they don't want to dance. I guess that's fine. But like even, you know, they don't hold hands and they're, they're not, you know, they don't give a hug or they don't, I don't know. It's just, it's very distant sometimes. I know they still, they love each other. That's fine. You can love each other all day. 
but you got to keep the love going and right. you got to keep it fresh. It's constantly working, you know? It is working. It's such a job. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's, God, it's, job you know, makes it so difficult. It's, con it's constant maintenance to the relationship. You maintenance your car when I'm maintenance to the relationship. Make sure everything's good, per se. The tire, right? And everything's good on the car, so why don't you make sure the relationship's the exact same? You broke down the side of the road. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't know <laughs> when the relationship is going to break down because you haven't paid any attention to it. So at that point, you're kind of running on fumes or something's going to you know, be all balanced and you're just going to break down. And, and then at that point, it's going to be like, oh, what? What? Why? Why? I'm not sharing no attention to you and you want to go do other stuff without me or with your friends or somebody gets in the DMs or whatever it is. And that's just, that's not right I'm not either. not being my man's DMs. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, these things can happen. It opens up for issues out there, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like set something aside. That's what most complaints are. I think from women a lot. or guys, you know, they don't show me no attention, you know, things like uh, pure guys are, I've heard it, you know, from them once, you know, um, you know, they're married, uh, it's married life. No, it's not true. Um, that's just you guys not working at it. <laughs> Two, um, yeah, we got kids. Yeah, I understand the kid thing for sure, hundred percent. But there's times that I know I snuck away, we snuck away, um, just for whatever it was, right? There's definitely times you can't too. Now, Make if the wife time. is out of the mood and everything like that, and the wife don't want to show you no love, you need to talk to her about this. I'm like, hey, and if she's like, hey, there's issues, then there's help for that too as well. Tight Medical Center definitely help women out. We'll at help you get out of those sweatpants at eight o'clock, ladies. Absolutely. So. <laughs> you know, that's, that's really what it is, but it's paying attention and then there's an issue communicating with that. Of course. Um, but that's the biggest thing. And you know, you set aside one night a week, right? One night, I don't care if it's two to three hours where you guys go have dinner or go do something um, by yourselves. doesn't matter. You guys go putt putting, just you two, right? Something of that nature, something where it's just you guys, you guys can interact, have maybe some fun and talk about maybe the day or, you know, the Laugh relationship or everything else. Stuff. Absolutely. Both people watch yeah. and do something, you know? Yeah. It, it feels good to laugh and talk about things or whatever it might be. Cause you might, I mean, after so much time, you know your partner pretty good and there's only so many questions you can ask, like what's your favorite color, yeah, yeah. What, what kind, you know, I think I asked John the other day <laughs> what, what his uh, spirit animal would be or yeah. something random like that because we're watching some show. But so it could be a tiger or a lion, well, what's even better than well, that? Well, I wanted to make sure I picked out exactly what I knew he'd oh, say. I guess I'll be a bear. So he could be, you know, crazy. She never told me her though. Anyway. He didn't ask. Oh. Ah. <laughs> See, no reciprocation here. No reciprocation. I communicate. She didn't reciprocate. Nobody <laughs> even knows what my spirit animal is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in her own right. That's what she is already. <laughs> She is a spirit animal. Uh, so guys, I hope this helped you guys out in your relationship or applying it to your relationship in the future. Um, and if you're one of these couples, maybe you've lost track of things. Hey, there's no better time than now to get back on track and ignite those flames right back where they need to be. All right. So every week, tune in to us live here on ABC at 11 a.m. DVR us if you can't watch us live. And don't worry if you guys can't watch us at all. ABC live or on DVR, just go to YouTube. You'll see this video and all kinds of other great content. I guarantee you guys are going to love and we'll definitely give you some entertainment and maybe some great knowledge to apply forward. So guys, I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you guys next Sunday with another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you then.